Hi cozy family, hi cozy friends. Today we're talking about maybe the only other subject I care about as much as gaming and that is self care. I'm gonna give you a head to toe self care routine. And I really wanna emphasize that self care means a lot of things and self care absolutely does not just mean products and it does not just mean apps. It's not all capitalist consumable <laughs> things, you know? And it, it often is marketed that way. In a lot of ways that is a big part of self care because you do have to buy things to participate in some acts of self care. But I do wanna emphasize there's a lot of self care that is not something you can buy and that I will definitely be talking about a little bit today and at some point in the future I can do another video on that. But today we are talking about self-care products because we're talking about body routines and things you do to your body and for your body to give it that little gift of self-care and to really feel good about yourself and honor and respect your body. I also want to note that it is really difficult to do sometimes. I think I don't hear that enough either and I really want to emphasize that because sometimes I'll get down on myself if I'm like, dang, you know, my favorite YouTuber does this whole routine every single day and sometimes I can't even bring myself to like put my hair in a better bun or something, you know? So just know, save this routine for the days you can do it and if that's every day, amazing. And if it's once a month, that's fine too. <laughs> I would say up until like 2018, I just was getting by. I was using like just Dr. Bronner's for everything. My face, my body, and that was it. I would sometimes moisturize if I if it was a good day. I just didn't have that foundation and like knowledge of even what to do for yourself. And I also think I just didn't know that doing little extra things for yourself would make you feel so great some days. I cannot start this video without crediting Haley Gamba, who is a YouTuber who does so much self-care. Like, I binged all of her videos. So much of what my routine is made up of now and today is stuff I've learned from her and some other YouTubers. Definitely watch her if you haven't come across her videos yet. So enough intro, let's get started with head. And what's on top of your head? Your hair. I only have products for curly hair and obviously that's because I have curly hair. I'm not gonna spend too much time on like curly hair products. But always send me a message if you want any recommendations because I have gone through trial and error for years and I have my favorite products. But the two products I can mention are Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight, which is an amazing clarifying shampoo that completely strips your hair of product buildup, but not of its natural oils, which is great and that's exactly what you want from a shampoo, sulfate free. Carol's Daughter is just great in general. And the other one is Herbal Essence, which is a curl cream and it smells so good. Like, it's an okay curl cream, but I think the scent has made it my favorite curl cream ever on earth. <laughs> it's also a really light cream, so even if you have kind of like wavy hair, I think it would work with that. The next is a scalp massager. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I just now, this year, entered this into my self-care routine, but a scalp massager just gets any shampoo, conditioner, product deep into your roots and it, it just feels so good when you're in the shower. It's also great for any dryness, like scalp dryness, because it's getting the product in there and kind of exfoliating too. And the last hair one is Way Rose Hair Oil, which this is for any hair types. It's really just for like your bougie alter ego. Like has it drastically changed my hair and made it like super shiny and luxurious? No, but do I feel 10 times better after putting it on because it smells like fresh cut roses? Yeah, absolutely. I do, I do. And the next is face. I'm not gonna get into skincare because I did share a little bit of my skincare routine on my first vlog. So check that out if you haven't seen it. But I am gonna mention one skincare product because it is an act of self-care, almost. And that is Purito Cleansing Oil. And I say this specific one just because I like it, but you can really use any cleansing oil. This before cleanser is absolutely necessary. If you aren't using a cleansing oil before your cleanser, you need to start now because it gets off an entire layer of dirt and oils that your first round of washing is just not getting. Taking off my makeup at the end of the day is such a hassle. It's literally the last thing I want to do. But something about knowing that I'm going to do it with an oil where it's like breaking down everything and you're kind of massaging your face as you go and it's just this little lulled moment of 
peace and and massage at the end of the day is really nice and it makes the whole makeup removal process way easier it just breaks everything down so you don't have to like scrub your makeup off with like a cotton round and makeup remover or micellar water and the next is reusable cotton rounds if you haven't switched to reusable cotton rounds you need to do it because it's more sustainable it's less wasteful and they're just so easy and and they're a little bit softer I find but there's a ton on Amazon and you can get like two packs so that when you're washing one you can still have the other and like vice versa but they have they usually come with these little pouches where you kind of keep it nearby and once you use one you put it in you put it in and put it in and then you wash it in that pouch so it's a super easy process no excuses get some reusable cotton rounds the next is your mouth and the first is a tongue scraper and i think of this as self care because when i've done all my you know my mouthwash my flossing my brushing and i like sometimes i'm still like but I, am i fresh enough you know, and a tongue scraper will ease that worry 100%. So I think that peace of mind afterwards is what is the self-care aspect of this. The next is a hydrogen peroxide dilution, which I learned of this on TikTok, and it was signed off on by an actual dentist, so I trust it fully, but they said that hydrogen peroxide is the only whitening ingredient in any whitening products you use, and whitening products can be really expensive. When the only active ingredient is hydrogen peroxide. So if you dilute hydrogen peroxide and I think purified water in three to one, so three water, one hydrogen peroxide, and you just rub it on your teeth with a Q-tip, you just kind of leave it on for a while and maybe you can like wash it out with water. It is like the cheapest whitening there possibly is and the most effective. Who doesn't feel better when their teeth are white and shiny, you know? The next is lips, and like my lips don't get chapped that much, so I'm kind of like, they're fine, and I leave it, but your lips need some love too, you know? Sometimes you need to just add that to your self-care routine, and one of the things I love to do is a Tree Hut lip scrub. Any lip scrub is fine, Lush has some good ones too, but I, I just love Tree Hut, they have amazing products. So it's just great to exfoliate and get like that layer of kind of like dead skin off, gross I know, but it's not gross, it's, it's our bodies, it's not gross. <laughs> and then make sure you follow it up with a balm, and my favorite balm, probably for the rest of my life, and I'm heartbroken, I'm mourning because I lost mine and I need to get it again from Walgreens, because they don't have it at Target for some reason, but the Norwegian Formula Neutrogena Lip Balm. It is the only lip balm I have ever found that actually feels like it solves chapped lips instead of just like putting a band-aid over it. Then it's immediately a problem in like 10 minutes and you have to reapply. This one does not do that. I feel like my lips are not chapped for like a week after I use it. Amazing. I don't know what their deal is, the Norwegians, but they've got it together. And for a little aesthetic treat is the Glossier Balm.com and they have so many fun scents. Or are they, is it called flavors or scents? When it's a lip balm, flavors or scents, y'all. I guess I'll go with scent because you don't eat it, but you kind of do. You do a little bit. Scents, we'll go with scents. But it really feels like a Pokemon, like collecting all of the scents because there's so many and they keep coming out with more. The thickness of the consistency of it is amazing and some of them have a little tint to it which is amazing. It's like the perfect casual tint if you don't want to put on like a lipstick or something. Ew, lipstick. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. And the next one is your mind and this is part of your head, you know, so I'm including it in the head. I said I would talk a little bit about things that aren't products and my main recommendation is any form of mindfulness that you can muster every day is amazing. Whether that's actual like meditation, whether it's working out, sometimes working out provides that kind of meditative state and that mindfulness state where you're paying attention to your body and listening to your body. Whether it's cooking, sometimes cooking does that for people. And whatever it is for you that puts you in a state of mindfulness, what is the greatest free <laughs> self-care thing you can do for your body on any day, at any time, anywhere you are. And back to products, uh, Audible. I love to read, but ever since I started law school, my love for reading actual like books has definitely waned. I, it's really hard now because you have to read so much in such tiny font and such big books. In the first year, I didn't read for fun at all. I didn't read anything. In my second year, I read a little bit more, and this year, 
I am reading a lot because of Audible and I call it reading, but you're listening. It's just so easy to do when you're working out or like grocery shopping or whatever. I do have a disclaimer about Audible though. It's a monthly fee. I don't know what it is. I think it's like around $10. That doesn't include like a huge library of all the books you want to read. You only get one credit each month. So it's basically like one book a month, which isn't bad, but if you want to read anything extra, you kind of have to like buy credits so the audible library does have some books but it's a lot of like classic books which is good great too it's it's just not a lot of like the books that you are seeing around modern books that you want to read and are people are talking about you know so keep that in mind before you get a subscription on my recommendation <laughs> moving on from head we're on to body i feel like your body is the part of this routine that needs the most love. So I have body washes to recommend. The first is the St. Ives Sea Salt and Pacific Kelp Exfoliating Body Wash. We did have to unstand St. Ives for their apricot scrub, <sighs> RIP, but scrub for your body, fit like physical exfoliant for your body, completely fine, great. It smells like a spa, like a beachside spa. It is amazing, it transports you and your entire shower into just pure bliss. <laughs> And the next is either whipped or foam body wash. Like there were days earlier this year where this was the thing that made me get up and take a shower that day. I didn't want to and then I was like, you know what? That foam body wash though. <laughs> and my last body wash is the Trader Joe's called just nourishing oil wash. And I just started trying oil washes this year, but they're amazing. I think La Octane has one too. It's almond scented. It's a little pricier than the Trader Joe's one, but it goes on as oil, but kind of turns into a little bit sudsier, but it's really hydrating because it's oil and it's silky and slick and it's just amazing. Okay. No more body wash. The next one is body scrub, and really any body scrub is great, but my favorite are Tree Hut body scrub. And my favorite is the turmeric one because it just, it doesn't really smell like strong turmeric, it just has this amazing scent. I don't have to explain exfoliator, you know what it does. Gets off that extra layer of dry skin and whatever. Tree Hut body scrubs, y'all. And they have so many scents. See, that one is scents. That one's not fibrous. <laughs> And this one I have to credit Haley Gamba completely for because I didn't even know these existed. Nivea and Shower Moisturizers. Y'all, this, this product changed the game. This single product helped walk me into wanting to do everything else in a body self-care routine. I kind of was like lazy and was like, I don't really want to moisturize. I don't want to do all this extra stuff. But this product was the stepping stone for that and made me like excited to do other things. And I think it's because it's so easy to do. A great product. I will endlessly thank Haley for putting me onto that one. And the next are exfoliating washcloths. Use of like a regular washcloth, but it like gets off a layer of dead skin. I don't know what the material is. Like it doesn't hurt. It's not anything. It's just like try it. <laughs> and my next recommendation is a bath soak or a bath oil. Baths are absolutely necessary. Like, I don't have to tell you. Baths are amazing. I don't have one in this apartment and it breaks my heart every day because just drawing yourself a bath, reading a book, watching something, listening to a podcast is such a good way to relax and decompress after a stressful day. Bath bombs are great, but they can be kind of irritating if you know what I mean. But bath soaks, like an Epsom salt bath and a bath oil aren't as irritating to your body. The salt does something. I don't know what it does. It does something, but the bath oil is hydrating and both of those kind of create this lovely scent in the room in the bath that a bath bomb doesn't doesn't as much. And the next is an electric shaver. If you are someone who shaves and you are someone who shaves their nether regions, use an electric shaver. Like at least as a first step, you know? I don't know why electric shavers aren't as heavily marketed towards like the women group, marketing group, because they're amazing. Amazing. It's like a weed whacker. <laughs> and on a day when you're like, I don't wanna shave today. It's great. And just note about shaving. Most people know that. You don't have to shave. If it doesn't make you happy, if you don't want to shave, don't shave. Yeah, I'm just one of those people that's like, the patriarchy is wormed into my brain, and so I just need to shave sometimes. My last thing for body is body mist for when you're kind of just around the house and perfume for when you're gonna go out. And this is like, yeah, duh. But I have two suggestions for each and it's really hard for me to limit it to two. One friend asked me for a perfume recommendation and I sent her like, 
two huge long paragraphs about which perfumes would be better for which time of day and which occasion. And I gave her like three choices for each. So I'm limiting myself to two and please be proud of me. So for body mist, my favorite is Victoria's Secret, which I don't, I just recently got into their body mists. And it just like, it brings me back. Like it, it makes me feel like I'm a middle schooler watching like Bethany Moda, like get ready for school in the morning when I use them. But my favorites are Mango Temptation, which was an old one that they brought back recently. And it's so good. I want to use it every single day when I'm just sitting around the house because I just want to, I just smell some like mangoes when I get out of the shower. When I'm sitting around, I just want to smell myself and smell mangoes, you know? Another one they just had for a little bit is called Candy Baby and it sounds absolutely something a grown woman would not want to wear, but I promise you it's great. It has like a, I think it has a little bit of mango in it too, which maybe I just like mango scents. I don't know. And the only perfumes I'll mention, a fresh one, MAC Turquatic. It's pretty affordable. If you don't like fresh scents, you probably won't like it, but it's fresh but kind of alluring. Because of its freshness paired with the alluringness, it's appropriate for like any time of day, any occasion, and that's why I'm recommending it because it's not specific. And the next one is Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. Eau Tendre. Eau Tendre. Tundra. This one is also another any time of day, any occasion, classy fruity floral I guess, like really just a crowd pleaser. Like I smelled this on a girl in an Uber and like I fell in love with her and was like, okay, you like, can you be my best friend forever? Just because she smelled so dang good because she was wearing that. And the next two are hand lotions. One is Glossier hand lotion and the other is the Aesop Resurrection hand lotion. They're just great consistencies, amazing. The smell is amazing and like classy and elevated. And my last arm hand one is a manicure kit with decorative tools. And having a little kit where it has like cuticle pushers, cuticle removers, things that you can use to decorate your nails is so nice because you know the nail trends nowadays where there's all of these little like patterns and stuff on it. Like it's hard to do with just the brush of the nail polish. You can get a like nail shop manicure at home. And the second to last is feet. The first is a foot pumice tool. I got mine from World Market because it's cute and brown and I love neutrals. Anything that has that like pumice material where you can just scrub your heel really, really quickly in the shower, amazing for having smooth heels. The next is a heel stick, like a moisturizing balm heel stick. But the stick is so easy to do and it cups your heel really nicely and there's just, a, there's something about the formula I think that's a little bit more like penetrating. You know? And my favorite, favorite foot lotion is Tree Hut. Again, they have the best self-care products. They have a mint, which I don't know why all foot creams are mint. I've tried a bunch of foot creams. I tried Burt's Bees and it's just too greasy. A lot of them are just too greasy. This one is perfect. It's my favorite foot cream. Definitely try it. The next is a foot spa, which this is actually on my wish list. I don't have one myself. Um, I would love one. I just haven't pulled the trigger for some reason yet. If you're somebody who doesn't like to go to the nail salon or particularly now like doesn't want to go out to the nail salon, just having a little petty at home. You know, you can do a mani and petty. You soak your feet. Some of them have little rollers even that massage your feet, vibrating and like bubbles. And you can, you can even put that bath soak bath oil in there too and you know do it while you're reading do it while you're watching a show whatever you want and the next is a foot mask these are kind of terrifying but amazing it literally removes entire layers of your foot <laughs> like it doesn't hurt it doesn't anything but you leave the f you put the foot mask on for like an hour or something and then over like the next couple of days you kind of have to plan well <laughs> but like if you have to do something with your feet out go, don't go to the beach don't go to a public pool None of that, stay at home. Like layers of your feet come off over the next two to three days. If you have kind of calloused heels or toes or anything, bye-bye. This, it's separate from body, so it doesn't make sense, but your bed, and two things I have to say about your bed that have to do with you and your self-care routine, make it every day. Every day, make it every day. Even if your bed is like your hangout spot and that's where you are all day, just don't make it. Get a blanket to, to put over yourself, you know, get some fuzzy blankets for warmth. Make your bed because it'll feel so nice, even if the rest of your room is in disarray. <laughs> Having a made bed, just you just feel together, you know? You feel together that day. You're like, at least my bed is made. Whenever you're getting ready for bed, you're like, oh, 
yes, peel off the sheet and it's freshly made. It's like a little treat to yourself at the end of the night. So make your bed. The last thing is pillow spray or bed spray, but it feels like you're just like getting into your bed, you know, after your massage at the spa. It's so luxurious and nice. And it's also nice in the morning after you make your bed, just a little spritz. If, if your bed's where you hang out, you can just smell that all day along with, you know, any candles you have. That's everything. I know this is really, really long. Thank you for hanging in there if you did. Let me know in the comments if there's any part of this routine that you hadn't thought of before that's new to you. Let me know if there's something I haven't mentioned that you have in your routine that is essential for your self-care routine. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing, have a cozy, have a fantastic day, cozy friends. Bye! Thank you.